No, not this cute little pika, although this high elevation, cold loving creature is himself incredible. We mean this guy, the Rocky Mountain Goat. Mountain goats are the only big guys living way up here, roaming the six Tusher Peaks all over 11,000 feet, remnants of volcanic explosions some 30 million years ago. We join a bevy of Utah wildlife folks during a periodic visit to check up on the goats and this wild and starkly beautiful country they call home. These acrobats of the mountains gracefully tiptoe across razor-edged ridges and somehow balance along sheer cliff faces. The hard outer case of their hooves dig in while the soft pads conform to irregular surfaces in an amazing ballet that bewilders even the experts. while overhead an eagle and hawk duke it out in a struggle for territorial rights. Goats may or may not be native to Utah. The first were brought here in 1967. Goats were then moved to the Tushers and have been here since 1986. There are fewer than 200 in this herd, but enough to provide seed animals to start and augment other herds on the Wasatch, Uinta, and LaSalle Mountains. There are about 2,000 goats statewide. We sometimes run into them here below Notch Peak in the high Uintas. But environmental purists claim goats don't belong in Utah because they're not native and could damage fragile alpine vegetation and rare plants. The graded road across the Tusher Ridge is the premier stretch along the 245 mile long Paiute ATV trail that connects a dozen towns in a loop around Sevier, Paiute, Millard, and Beaver counties. Here it passes beneath Delano Peak, king of the Tushers at 12,173 feet. Most of the road between Beaver and Marysvale is suitable for high clearance cars and trucks where it provides relatively easy access to the area where the goats like to hang out. It's a special treat to watch these amazing and beautiful critters in such a spectacular setting. Restein with Marianne along the way at the 11,000 foot level of the Tusher Mountains in southern Utah. 